Welcome everyone to the last webisode, webisode number 10 of Entrepreneur Bootcamp. Thank you all for joining me. My name is Tim Heron. My email address is timheron69 at gmail.com. My blog is Wallach's Word, W-A-L-L-A-C-H-S-W-O-R-D.com. My YouTube channel is Tim Heron Dash Longevity, Y-O-U-N-G-E-V-I-T-Y. Join it. Subscribe, like, share, comment, all that kind of great stuff. So just for a recap, as I always do on the webisode series that I've been doing, it's about becoming an entrepreneur, but what is an entrepreneur? So the first episode, the first webisode I did is, uh, you know, what is an entrepreneur? Uh, 1099 mindset versus W2. Are you, <clears throat> then the next one is the day in the life of an entrepreneur. Right? Are you an entrepreneur or a wantrepreneur? Because everything you do from sunup to sundown and in between, even when you're sleeping, has to be your vision of what it is to be an entrepreneur. So I define what is an entrepreneur, then your strengths and your weaknesses, uh, mind conditioning, your mindset, everything I did in there with the mind conditioning. Uh, who do you keep in your company? Very important. I just had a conversation today about that with somebody. Um, you know, and why are you keeping them? You know, why are you uh, putting those other people out? That kind of thing. Uh, then building your brand, yourself as your brand. You're your best brand, hands down, hands down. Hands down, you're your best brand. And then, you know, you might have a product or service, which is another brand, but you're building yourself because people are gonna wanna invest in you in order to invest in something else. They're looking at you first. So your brand, building your brand is very important. Adaptations and expectations, right? Being able to adapt and overcome, prepare for the worst, expecting the best, okay? Very, very important. And your expectations, are they too high? Are they too low? Take little steps to get to be successful. Then I went into cost, expenses, and percentages, okay? Now we're going to go into the last one, which is scalability. It's very important. Every great investor, every great person that wants to come into your business, to add to your business, to build it up, wants to know, is this business scalable? And what I'm doing now, can it be from here to, to uh, $1 to $100 million, you know, 1000 to 100000 whatever it is. is it, can it be scalable enough where I'm going to invest my time and money and my expertise and my talents and all these different things, where is it going to be uh, scalable, scalable for them so that it makes them a long-lasting business for themselves. It's very important. So um, it's the characteristic of a system, right? Your, your scalability depends on your system, right? If your system is sound, if you built a quality system that can be taken from one to one to one to the next, then it's scalable. So your system is very important. So what is your system, right? Is your system scalable enough to attract investors or partners or like-minded people to your business. It's very important. So scalability, okay? The next thing people want to know as far as scalability is what's next? Not what you have now, but what do you have next? So go back to all my different webisodes. I'm talking about putting your mind forward. Not what you're doing here, but what are you going to be doing in the future? So every great investor will say, great, this is fantastic. We love it. What's next? What is next for you? What, what is next for the business? What, what next product do you have? So that's very, very important. Your customer wants to know, the investor wants to know, your audience wants to know what is next. What are you rolling out next? What can I get excited about next? I'm excited about this, but what am I excited about next? Okay, so you're also creating your, you're, you're creating, you're building, you're partnering, you're scaling, all these reasons for your vision, okay? Now that you have your vision clear, now that you have your passion clear, now that you have your clear uh, thought process for your business, right? You're creating it, you're building it, you're partnering, you're scaling for a multitude of reasons, okay? For an income, right? To make money. Everybody wants to make money. So we're making money. And it's also now it's a residual income, which means no matter what happens in the future, you're going to get paid. It's very important. People get stuck on the, the, the here and now, but it's the later on that counts right? What can I recount on in retirement? 
that's the residual income that, that your business, your passion should have, right? Okay, and then leaving a legacy. Sometimes that's important for people to leave a legacy for their children, leave a legacy for their name, right? For, you know, like I said, for your children, anything you're passing on to them. Is this business passable? Am I leaving a legacy for my children to follow, to uh, pick up the torch on? Is, it, is the system clear enough where they're going to get it to pass it on where it's, hey, it's just from here to here and here, and, it, and your kids can scale it upwards? Very important. Or are you just building it to sale, to sell, right? A lot of people are going to build their business. I'm going to build it up and sell it. Build it. They just want to create businesses and sell them. But you got to get there. So saleability is another one. All these different things we're going to come into. Um, your decision making is very important. All these steps that I've taught you, all these different steps that I've brought down from one to now, is creating the power of correct decision making. It's so important to have a correct decision making process, right? So when you're prepared, your decision making is easier. When you're prepared, your gut feeling, you could just lean on that. Say, I don't know why, but this is my gut feeling. Why? Because I've been prepared the whole time. I've been doing it everything possible, step by step, that's leading me to this point in time right now. I have to trust my gut feeling because I've prepared myself for that. I've, I've eliminated all the whys and whats and haves and oh my goodness and all these different things. And I'm el eliminating all that guesswork by being prepared, when you, when you have proper decision making, when you have quality decision making, own it. This decision I'm, I'm making and I'm taking it, right? This is the gut. This is my gut feeling. I'm doing it because why? Because I'm prepared for that. You're eliminating all the guesswork. All these things come into play, and guess what? Now you're a leader. You have a system that works. You you know your strengths. You know your weaknesses. You know what you're doing in, in business. You know you're an entrepreneur. You know you're a business builder. You know you know your costs and expenses, percentages. You know you know your brand. You've built your brand up. All these things that you're creating, and you are now a leader where other people are wanting to follow or invest in you. It doesn't matter what your product is. It could be an entertainment company. It could be a book. It could be anything else. It could be anything that you want to do. But they're believing in you because you're a leader. Because you're prepared. That is so important, right? All these things are building up to being a leader. Sound system, you know, correct decision making, all these things. They're saying, well, right, you know, I mean, good, bad, and if this guy's owning that decision, it makes sense. His track record works. His character is there. Everything is built into this last part of being a leader, being the leader that you need to be for other people to follow, for other people to invest in, for other people to believe in. Okay, you are that leader now, right? I titled this Entrepreneur Boot Camp because it's really a boot camp. You're coming in, stripping everything down, and we're building, and we're building with one common purpose, with one common denominator, is becoming a leader in business and leader in the society. That's what it comes down to. You can be constructive or you can be destructive. Which one will you be, right? Be the best leader that you can be, be the most constructive leader that you can be, and people will follow you because everything is sound, everything is planned. You have a plan for your life. You have a plan for these, you know, for this, for this entrepreneurial vision, for this passion, for this spirit, for all these things that come into it. And that's what people want to follow. They want to follow that, right? So you have to teach them that. So take these these tools and these steps and all these different webisodes, and I, I trust that you'll use them to better yourselves. Pick out what, what's good for you. You know, you might think of something else different. Send them in to me. This is the last webisode, but I'm still always available. So I want you to continue to send me. I had somebody ask me, you know, send me an email thanking me for uh, still being available. I'm always going to be available. You have my, my email. My Facebook is up there, Tim Harron, um, Facebook, so you can... My phone number is up there. All these different ways to get in touch with me. Do you want something bad enough? You're going to find a way to get it done. You're either bragging or you're complaining. And this is not the shoulder to cry on. This is the shoulder to build you up. Jump on my shoulders and let's get going. So thank you very much for everybody for joining me. And there's many ways to get in touch with me, but my YouTube channel, everything is there. And please, everyone, just be as prosperous 
and be the best leaders that you can be. And thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in and joining in. Be prosperous. Bye.